Hi everyone, um, hope you all had a nice Christmas. Uh, so welcome to the first of the Illustrator tutorials which I'm going to put online for you to uh, to watch uh, at your own will. Um, now I know we did a lot of Illustrator um, at the start of the of the year, of the academic year, but uh, obviously we're going to go back into it now with the branding project. Um, and it's paramount really that you really do get to know Illustrator properly. Um, and understand how to use it because with with any sort of branding or any logo you will be expected to sort of build this stuff in scratch from Illustrator and then because of the vector um, nature of of sort of you know the file and what you're doing you can then sort of make things as big um, or as small as possible then. Um, so like I said I know we've covered some Illustrator but I'm going to go back to basics now go back to the absolute basics and kind of explain really um, how to use Illustrator and the fundamentals of it um, and, and kind of once you get your head around these things, then you can sort of go on and, and, and you know, understand what you're doing and, and do more cool things in Illustrator then. Um, so we're going to start, like I said, from the very beginning. Um, so if I come over to here um, and I've got uh, some sort of keywords down the left-hand side here, which I want you to understand really what Illustrator is all about. So when you think about the name of Illustrator, um, you know, illustration, all it is, is, is to draw, really. That is all this software was, was set up to do, to, to, to draw things from scratch and build from there. Um, so with any drawing um, in Illustrator you do, everything uh, that you draw um, is called a path. So, for example, if I just go here, grab my brush tool, um, just put my stroke on and take my fill off, and I just draw there. So there we go. Um, and if I click that now take the stroke off that is a simple path and that is all that is all it is so if I sort of highlight it again um, so anything you draw in Illustrator whether it be type or whether it be with a brush with the pen tool um, anything like that um, is classed as a path now if we come down to the second one anchor point what is an anchor point well all an anchor point is if I go here let's put a stroke back on that if I come to here to my shape tool for example click rectangle and just zoom in a little bit here and I uh, just draw out a simple rectangle there. Now, the anchor points there are, um, hang on, if I use my direct section tool, it'll be a bit easier if I click there. Now, can you see anchor point there? One, two, three, four. Now, all an anchor point is really is on the path. 99% um, of the time, it'll be a, a change in direction, um, but also you can add in anchor points um, on, a, on a line where it doesn't change direction. It's just a point where, you know, the path changes or is supposed to change. So with this um, square now, for example, if I wanted to, to create a house shape, for example, all I could do, go to my pen tool, uh, add anchor point, and then if I come to here, if I click there, I've added anchor point to there, and then if I come and use my direct selection tool, and I'll go through selection direction, uh, direct selection tool a little bit later, if I just click there, click and drag, there we go. Now I've got a more of a house shape. So that is all an anchor point is really um, a point you place on a path to essentially change direction or change the course that the path is taking. Um, so you said once you can get your head around path um, and anchor point, you can start really to understand then, you know, what it is you're drawing an illustrator and how you can then go back in and manipulate it. And you know, like I said, it, it is very simple. And um, again, if I sort of come here, take the stroke off. You know, there we go, that's the path. Um, and then you've got your five anchor points, one, two, three, four, five. So again, very simple stuff, but you know, the sort of, this is more visual design thinking more than anything else. You know, much like I said, you can only really um, excel in this software if you if you understand, you know, why it is you, you're doing things and, and what they do. Put the stroke back on there. Okay, so if I come down to here now, draw and color. Uh, now, if I come across here, you know, you notice I've got my fill and I've got my stroke, yeah? Now, I can appreciate um, when you first um, start an Illustrator and you're drawing things, uh, it can get a little bit frustrating. You've got fill colour coming in and, you know, you don't really understand what it is. But just think of um, your fill as your colour and your stroke as your draw. So think about back to when, you know, when you were a child or, or now, you know, when you draw, you know, draw with a pencil, pen or whatever, um, so if I just get my uh, paintbrush tool here, you know, so say I'm just drawing a simple shape, you know, there we go. That's how I would draw it um, if I was a child. You know, again, you know, if I want to use the pen tool, um, 
So click drag here, you know, click whatever. I'm just doing this really quickly. You know, that is how, as a child, I would I would draw it. I would pick up a pen, a pencil or whatever, and draw the outline. So think of drawing as, you know, sort of putting the outline. And then all the fill is, is applying the colour inside. Um, so if I come to this shape here, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's blank there. If I come over to my swatches and add colour, there we go. I can add colour. And obviously with all the additional features that Illustrator has, I can, you know, go in and add more colour or I can add gradients or whatever. You know, there's a whole world of, of things you can do, you know, but just sort of taking it back to basics here. Um, that is all it is. So just think about, you know, when you're getting confused with... Um, uh, let's put that one there. When you're getting confused with fill and stroke, you know, just think, how would I draw it? Well, I wouldn't have my colour on. You know, you wouldn't, because this is what happens a lot. If you, if I just leave this on, when you're drawing in Illustrator, for example, you know, you'll sort of, a lot of you will get this, you know, where the, the colour is adding as you're drawing. Well, when you think about, you know, you wouldn't do that as a child, um, you know, drawing in, uh, in primary school. You wouldn't draw something and colour as you go. You would draw the outline first and then add the colour secondly. So if you can sort of visualise it in that way, um, uh, you know, it should be a lot easier then to, to work out, you know, uh, where I should apply the colour and, and, you know, where I should apply the stroke. And all the stroke is, it, again, it is applied to the path. Um, you know, it, it's very simple. Um, and like I said, if you can get your head around that, you know, you, you'll, you're, you're halfway there already. Um, and then finally then, um, selection and direct selection. So if I just get a simple shape here, um, ellipse tool, and remember, guys, no matter what tool, you, what no matter what drawing tool you use, you know whether you use the shape tool, whether you use a, a line tool, a paintbrush, pencil, pen, uh, you know, type, they've they're all set out in this way with um, uh, color or fill and stroke or drawing as we like to call them now. Um, so just visualize everything in that way. Yeah, it doesn't matter what tool you're using um, at all. That they, they all use the same things, you know, I take the um, stroke off there, uh, sorry, take the colour off there, and if I take the stroke off, it's a path, it's back to a pure. So yeah, I use the pen, um, sorry, the brush tool for this, um, and the shape tool for this, but it's exactly the same principle. Take that away, I've just got a path. If I want to add anchor points to that path, or delete anchor points, or convert them, I can simply do that. If I come down to this one, Highlight that. If I want to add, delete, um, convert anchor points, again, it's exactly the same principle. So don't worry about what drawing tool you're using. You know, these rules apply to, to pretty much everything at a fundamental level you do in Illustrator. So I just delete that and uh, draw a new one. And let's just add a bit of, uh, I tell you what, let's just put a stroke on that. So if I just draw out a simple circle there. Right now, I've got selection, direct selection up there, obviously. Now, it's really important you remember which one you're in. And you'll find this a lot in um, Illustrator. You know, for example, you'll um, you'll draw something, forget you're still using the drawing tool, and then try and move it. And then you'll just sort of scribble in everywhere, and you'll get really agitated. You will switch modes a lot in Illustrator, from your drawing tools to your selection, to your direct selection, back to, you know, other modes. And all it is, is you've just got to remember and half the time you can just look at the cursor, what mode you're in. And it's really good to get used to using the hotkeys, you know, like V for selection, A for direct selection, to quickly get you into the um, the state that, that you need to be in. Um, so like I said, you know, got my um, got my circle here. Now the selection tool, all I can do with the selection tool is move something, uh, then select it, and I can resize it, or... So click that again, sorry. Or I can rotate it. You know, obviously, you're not going to sort of notice it with this circle because it's the same all the way around. But that's all the selection tool does is moves it to a certain place or you know wherever you want it to be, rotate it or scale it. But the actual uh, the actual shape of what you've drawn will not change at all. Um, it will stay the same um, structure, you know, so to speak. Now, if I Command C, Command V, um, or I hold Alt. And drag out a new one to duplicate there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Now the direct selection tool is different. So if I click there, click here. Now the direct selection tool, I can't move it, I can't resize it, I can't um, rotate it, I can't do any of those things. What well, the direct selection tool is is um, addresses the anchor points and the curve on those anchor points, or you know just anchor point if it's not curved. 
and that's where then you change the structure of the shape. So you can see I'm, um, you know, proper messing the shape up there. So you gotta remember that. So if you wanna, if you want the shape to stay the same structure, you just wanna move, rotate, or resize it. Selection tool, uh, hotkey V. But if you wanna change the structure of the shape, so if I wanted to change that circle from a square, see with great difficulty eventually, but I could get there in the end, um, I would use a direct selection tool. But then if I just wanna move it around uh, or resize, um, or rotate, I use that. So try and get into your heads, you know, what the uh, the black arrow does selection and what the white arrow does direct selection, because they are the two most important kind of states of, of mode you'll be in in Illustrator. And it's really important to remember which one you're in and, you know, what does what. And it takes time, guys. You know, Illustrator, I appreciate, is a frustrating bit of software to use in the beginning, particularly if you're from a Photoshop background, because the problem is Photoshop is just... You, you put a, an image in that's already been done and you just click stuff and it does it all for you. Illustrator requires a, a certain level of skill, you know, where you've got to go in and you've got to be controlled and you've got to draw things out. You know, drawing itself requires that level of skill. But, you know, you're on a graphics course, you know, pretty much all of you, I'd say all of you can draw to some level. Um, so just think of it like that. You know, that's all this is, is drawing on screen. And if you can, you know, the way you would draw on a piece of paper um, apply that to um, Illustrator, you will be absolutely fine. You know, I've got no problems whatsoever that you will pick this software up. But again, guys, it's all about practice. You need to sort of keep practicing with these different tools, um, learn about what each one does. And once you get the fundamentals in place, then you can start then exploring more about Illustrator, all this other stuff that it does. You know, uh, it's a you know, fascinating piece of software when you really get into it. Um, right, so if I could just come over to here now, and we've got our old friends here, the... Um, the chess pieces. So again, you know, I know we've done this exercise, but I'm just going to go back through it really to um, uh, just sort of, you know, refresh your, your uh, minds really. Um, now, in Illustrator, um, a lot of it really is is visualization and and it's that it's design and visual thinking. Um, so you kind of got to, if you want to sort of draw something, you've got to kind of look at it and think, right, what are those shapes? split it up into shapes, split it up into sections, and how am I going to draw those shapes? What tools am I going to use to achieve certain shapes? Um, you know, so if you just zoom in here, lock that layer, and if I just put a new layer on. Right, so if I look at the pawn, you know, to me, that's a circle. I look over to here, what's the best way to draw a circle? Well, there's no point doing it with the brush, because, you know, I am got a steady hand, you know, that's, that's not quite there. Um, there's no point using the pen tool because, again, you know, it's difficult to get those perfect angles. If I do that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of way off there, really, so if I can get rid of that. The best way to draw it would be simply with the ellipse tool. So if I come over here, and if I hold shift, I've then got a perfect circle. I want to move this now, so I use selection tool, and I simply move it over the top. So that's that piece done. I then go to the next piece and I look at that and to me, well, that's just a simple rectangle. How would I do a rectangle? Well, I could I could use the pen tool. I could click there, hold shift to keep it all in line. Bring that down to there. And I tell you what, I should really put my smart guides on for this. Yeah, there we go. Hold that. Uh, sorry. Click back there, down to there. You know, I could draw a rectangle like that using the pen tool, but a better way to do it, or a quicker way, would be to use the rectangle tool. So I simply draw that out there. And there we go, I've got the next bit. Now, if I'm being sort of really precious about this, I would align those properly. I'd bring this to the front. So right click, transform, oh, sorry, arrange, bring to front. I would then apply the color to this and, and apply it as I go and build it step by step. So then if I come to this bit here, you know, I've got some sort of uh, ellipse shape going on here. So, you know, th th let's, let's try the ellipse. Let's see if I can get something there. Maybe bring that across to about there. And then if I use direct selection, because remember now I want to um, change the structure of the shape. I don't want to move, rotate, or resize it. I want to change the structure. Click there. There's my anchor point there. If I... Um, Backspace to delete, there we go. And then if I then use the pen tool, come back in, click 
click there and re-add. There we go. I've got the next bit of my shape. Come down to this bit. So I've got a curve there. I've got a curve there and two straight lines. Now, for me, I'd say the pen tool would be a good shout here, you know, to draw those curves. So if I come maybe down to there, click and drag for a curve. Um, and then if I come down to there, you know, there we go. Use the um, shift uh, to come across the bubble here. And then I can maybe come up to there. You know, in an ideal world, I would, I would duplicate this, but I'm just doing this really quickly. Um, but but there, you know, that's a little bit off. I'd have to play around with the anchor points here, yes. A little bit more there. Um, play it, you know, I'd smooth that out a little bit more. And then join this at the top then using the pen tool. There we go. I've got that shape. Then I come down to this one and so on. And that is how you, you draw an illustrator. Um, you know, any any sort of artwork you do. If you wanted something more um, or less structured or more um, expansive, um, you would then go into the brush tools. So, you know, if you had an illustration, you could sort of whatever, paint over it. And then if you, um, uh, sorry, downloaded uh, the right brushes, you could then also fill with the brush tool. You know, say, for example, I had a watercolour brush. Um, you know, if I just go, you know, let's just try this for example you know see I'm getting this shape here so you know I'd, I'd have to download the appropriate brush and then fill in the rest you know but you've got to be very careful guys you know at the end of the day it's all well and good doing illustration um you know sort of really you know arty uh, organic stuff but you've got to remember you are on a graphic design course and I keep going on in lectures about the difference between a graphic designer and an illustrator there's no you know, I have no problem at all with illustration within graphic design. I think it's, you know, fantastic. You'll bring those skills in. Um, however, you've got to remember, you know, at the end of the day, graphic design, you know, it's all about layout, structure, typography, you know, um, design thinking on top of illustration. So, you know, be very careful uh, when you go into Illustrator to illustrate. You know, you've got to remember you've got to bring in all the other fundamentals of, of design as well. Um, and that's it, guys. You know, this this isn't easy you know the pen tool you know i remember going through the pain myself you know it is a very difficult but it's not a very difficult tool to use but you've just got to get your head around how it works you know the fact that you know when you think about it simply all it's meant to do is draw straight lines let's get rid of that or curved lines I mean, that is all the pen tool does, and that was all it was designed to do. But you've got to learn how to, when, you know, come into a shape such as this horse here, if you can start using the pen tool, go right in, um, you know, sort of click and drag there, come to there, maybe bring it down there, click and drag, and slowly build up, you know, so you've got a little sort of kink in there, so I can come in with direct selection, and sort of change that about, or maybe smooth it out a little bit. There we go. And you've just got to look at a piece, uh, you know, what you want drawn, what you want trace, and decide, you know, what tools here are best to do it. Draw it first. Don't use any fill. Just draw it use um, using the stroke. And then once you've drawn the whole thing, then, or as you go, you can apply the colour as you go, as you would if you were drawing something, like I said, on a piece of paper. Um, and that's it, guys, you know. That is sort of fundamentally is as simple as I can break it down for you. Um, and I'll always say, guys, I keep harping on about in lectures, it's all about practice, this kind of stuff. You know, you've just got to get in the software, drop in some some artwork and just practice, you know, using the different tools. And before you know it, you will have, um, you know, much greater control uh, with these things than, than you did prior. Um, and it's very important within branding because you you, you can't build logos in, in Photoshop uh, and InDesign you will be expected to build this stuff in, in Illustrator because of the way vectors work, you know. If they want it on a billboard, you can put it on a billboard, but if they want it on a, you know, a, something really small like a pencil or something, you can then scale it to that size, you know, no pixelation whatsoever. So, you know, have a go with the, um, uh, the task I've given you today, uh, and when you're ready, move on to the next video.